to Burns. What does he have orchestrated here in the block? What a spin! DJ Dong! Oh my goodness. I did not know DJ had that vertical in him. I'll be honest. Look at that quick spin and just rises up. Hang time. DJ Horn at the point for Burns at the elbow. Post guarding him. Burns. Got it. They called him DJ Buckets when he played at Winthrop, and he got one. And now uh, NC State again. I like their patience. They're just going to DJ Burns and let him go to work. That has been uh, the formula. But uh, Boston College has got a decision to make right now. And Mo Rivers, who just passed away last month, in the backcourt with Monty Tao. Phil Spence was the sixth man on that team. Burns, basket plus the foul. Uh, playing him one-on-one, -on -one, you know, getting in a little bit of foul trouble now. Not a lot of size. They're going to have to start sending some bodies to try to get the ball out of his hands. We played a great video at halftime. The Hawks also have some great history relating to 1974 as Horn pours in a three. And already early, they got two layups. I mean, KK Curry just missed an easy one. Great pass, quarter three. It's good. And as Parker Jr. stayed with it. I really like the freshman Parker Jr., Noah. Yeah, you're not the only one. His coach really likes him. Nice block inside of the game. Just getting started in the first half here. Burns trying to back down Adu. This is his closest range look. He flips that one up and in. Looking for some answers. Down five. Burns trying to make him pay in the paint. Gonna need shots either. What he's got to do is anticipate where the rotations are coming from. Oh, Marcel goes back door and beats him. So work it inside the Burns. Nice work by DJ Burns on the freshman Bruce John. Yeah, he is optimistic about getting back toward full strength when they dive back into Horizon League action. DJ Burns on a turnaround. Taylor to put it in play. Lob for Burns. DJ on the roll. Up, under, layup, good. One-tenth of a second left, and DJ Burns, Dan. How about this, huh? Well, I mean, they're, try they're not trying to throw it to him, but, I mean, he's the last resort. They just throw it up there. Nobody comes to double team, and I'm telling you, he is so good. He's so agile. What a great pivot, and then he just steps right through. NC State leads for the first time tonight with one-tenth of a second to go in the ballgame. And the officials are going to look and make sure that one-tenth of a second. Tony Bennett's given him... A lot of responsibility today, given the prowess of Burns, and there's a turnover. Here's an outlet with Taylor. He's got Dunn to beat. The layup good. Now to Burns. Here comes the double team. Skip for O'Connell. Three ball. Good! And a foul! Oh, my goodness! Michael O'Connell, seventh three of the year in 26 tries. To DJ Burns, the double comes immediately. He pivots, he passes. Michael O'Connell. Burns couldn't get around him, just opened up the lane to the basket with no resistance. How do you stop this? It's like stopping a dump truck. Draws a foul and he made the shot. And it's like trying to stop Refrigerator Perry going through the line when he gets a handoff with two yards. Forget it. Burns again. On the attack, yes. Burns back in Huntley Hatfield down in the short corner. That's nice. Yep. Here's Burns and Reed again. DJ a shot fake. Now going to back down Reed. Fall away. Got it. Wow. It's a nice job again. If you get inside that defense, Wake Forest does a nice job passing it out for jump shot. There's the double team on Burns. Inside Morsell to catch him. First assist of the day. Averages right around three assists per game. Oh, and it's Burns the steal, taking it away from Padula. <laughs> Burns with the steal, the nifty feet coming in. That was all caused by the pressure. Inside to Burns, his first bucket of the night. And that's just a beautiful play that time. Nice action, put Burns in the ball screen and then dive him to the post. 
Right back to Burns. Puts it up before the double team comes. And DJ Burns has back-to-back -back buckets to start the second half. O'Connell from Parker. NC State rolling with that four-guard lineup once more. On the handoff, it's Burns. Terrific feed, and Parker finishes. By the way, O'Connell just grabbed his sixth rebound to go along with six assists and five points. And that's beautiful for NC State. To be more balanced in distributing the basketball. Usually he goes to the paint to score, and that's the way people defend him. Burns back into the game, spinning through a triple team, and he beats them all to put it up and in. Here's Horn. Quick pass inside, Burns to catch. And DJ Burns gets a chance at an end one. He really comes out and attacks this. And all uh, attacks the screen. And all DJ Burns does is go to the basket. Burns drops it low. Great look by Burns to Taylor. And there was a foul on the play as well. So Jaden Taylor, Burns found him. And he's going to the free throw line when we come back. Burns backing down Brown. Right through the double team for two. Here's Warren. He has 26 points to lead the Wolf Pack into Burns. Spins into a double team. Passes out of it. Taylor lines up the three and buries it. Working on Mighty. Look at the dig down from hand there defensively, Josh. Yeah, absolutely. In Boston College, that's what they do defensively. Protect the paint, but he still is able to get to his left hand. It is because the leadership from the players there did not take the lessons that they learned from Jordan Miller, Isaiah Wong a season ago and pass those down to the younger players. Oh, great feed inside for the quick strike. DJ Burns making the beautiful find. Again, this is with Filipowski saddled with a couple of fouls. Oh, look at that get downstairs to Diara for the easy slam. Looking for an opening in the paint. Got it! Out top. You give a little move, he spins back. Who wants to take a charge on that? He averages just under five points per game. He's got four in the first half. Guarding Burns. Spins around the defender for two. DJ Burns with the move on the inside around the defender. Crafty and Nick O'Connor, the transfer from Stanford, runs NC State's offense. Here's our first matchup with Burns and Helly Hatfield. DJ reverses to the baseline and scores. Out front, here's Diara. Now Burns again, got Huntley Hatfield in the air, and he'll get the one. With both hands, he's just too good down low. It's almost a continuation there. Not to mention his former head coach. Great to see Jim Beheim here working the tournament with you yesterday, Burns. Backs it in. It's almost like a spy on a quarterback. You don't double team until you see DJ Burns spin. Let's see if Horn gets involved offensively. Burns with a touch. What a tough angle, but he makes a lot of those shots. I'll say what, he's had a huge impact to start this game. And seven offensive rebounds last night. Really showed up in a big way. Burns trying to get in close and takes the hit as well. Warren getting trapped, but he got out of it with a pass. Cross court, O'Connell open. Yes, sir. Again, Burns looking at the official. Again, feeling there should have been a call. That one's going to count. That is like guarding a tank. Good. He's the one guy who didn't play on Tuesday because of the hip flexor. They sat him out. They were playing Louisville. They were able to win without him. So for him, just his fourth and fourth and four days. Jaden Taylor, bad ankle and all. Tremble helpful as he was coming by to reach in. Shot clock running down. Taylor slips. Burns for three. Oh boy! Left hand inside, and then with the shot clock going down, he knocks down his first three of the year. Coach Keats, let me shoot more of those. 